monster. Ah, it's from the painting. And it looks crudely drawn, to be honest. But anyway. Huh? What was that? I was dreaming. It's no longer night. The pale morning light signs, uh, shines into the room through the windows. Hmm. The demon of Shironagasu Island. I think this island is messing with my mind. Morning. What is it, Neneko? Are you already awake? I couldn't fall asleep because of your stupid stories. Just so you know, I didn't get up early because I wet myself. <laughs> what? Uh, I wasn't thinking that at all. Now that you mention it, why do I have a naggy feeling like you actually did wet yourself? Uh, question. After you turn off the lights, do you see anything strange? Anything strange? No, I didn't see anything strange. I didn't see that monster in my dream, though. I see. Then it's okay. Anyway, I'm glad that we're both still one piece and get to see another day. How about we go to the dining hall when we're ready? I hope we won't see more dead people today. Don't say such morbid things. Before I forget, give me your room key. That way I can escape here when someone kills you. You really are trying to wind me up, aren't you? Fine, whatever. I give Nedeko my key and we leave the room. You know, yeah, n n n I'm trying to like remember, or not remember, but I'm trying to think of her archetype. But like, it really is, yeah, she's like, uh, you know, Hik Hikikomori neat or whatever that stays in her room the entire time and like is really good with computers. It's like that kind of like trope, you know, that, that character. Uh, archetype but also like like a, a a beautiful anime girl you know like she's drawn like in a b shoujo way right so i don't know that annoys me for some reason like that kind of character i always feel like a bit of a cliche but anyway huh something's going on in the hallway that leads to the dining well i mean for one i see blood so i see akira and giselle rio as well do you think someone else is killed doesn't look like that uh, good morning, Mr. De uh, detective. Hi, Ikura. Uh, I can't speak. Hi, Akira. Did something happen? Can't you see? Someone played a prank on us. I mean, I don't know if prank is a good word, since someone actually did die, and now we're just being pranked. Seems like a weird de-escalation. A prank. The padding in the walls have been covered in blood. I see. A rather provocative prank, isn't it? Some red stuff that appears to be blood has been smeared into the painting of the walls. I can see handprints in the wall, but four-fingered handprints. That's strange. What do you think, detective? What does your intuition tell you? I dip my fingers into the blood and smell it. Judging from the smell, it appears to be real blood. It could be blood from a pig or a bird. Are you really suggesting that someone brought pig blood to the solitary island just to play a prank like this on us? Is your intuition taking the day off? Yeah, brat. She showed her true colors as soon as she found out that I was a detective. You have a point. I don't think any birds are bred for food in this mansion either. We can't discard the possibility that it was wild bird blood, but judging from the amount of blood, it could very well be human blood. Human blood, like yesterday's. Thomas's body is kept in an outside warehouse, so it would be possible to access it. Okay, so did, they did move the body. They just kept everything else, you know, uh, undisturbed. However, it would take a lot of time to extract blood from a bird corpse. From a medical perspective, what do you think, Riel? Well, the blood pressure disappears in the corpse, so I don't think you can retrieve any blood using normal blood collection methods. You could extract the blood from the ventricle with a long needle, but... I see. However, would anyone take such a risk only for such a bad prank? They would be immediately spotted, and this must have needed too much effort. A special tool would also be required to extract blood. A special tool. Akira looks at Ryo suspiciously. What? Don't tell me that you suspect me of this. I wouldn't do anything like this. But you're the only one who seems to have that special tool. Of course that this of course this raises suspicions. Come on, calm down. Now is not the time to quarrel. Whatever. So what are you gonna do about this blood? You're not gonna leave it like this, are you? It still has fingerprints and handprints on it. Unfortunately, the crime scene will have to be left untouched until the police arrive. Okay, just an excuse to keep everything spooky, like a haunted mansion. Ew, that's disgusting. I can't have any filth around me. Everything needs to be speckless. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. It, but it's strange. Why did the culprit leave something behind that could be used as a clue? Also, this handprint. Does it really belong to whoever did this? What do you think, Nedeko? Don't talk to me all of a sudden. I can't speak in front of people. 
I feel sick to my stomach when I see this painting. So I'm just going to head to the dining hall. I'm a little bit dizzy. Nandiko slips in the hall with an unsteady gait. Oh yes. I want to ask everyone about this. This painting is apparently a depiction of the demon of Shironagasu Island. Do you know anything about it? Demon. No wonder this painting is so horrible. Demon. No, I don't know anything about that. Sorry, I don't know anything about it either. Giselle. Who apparently was standing right behind me suddenly speaks. <laughs> yeah, we don't see her in the her sprite anyway. I've heard stories somewhere about the monsters that appear on this island, but that's about all I know. I'd like to know more about them though. I see. Alright, thanks. Um, oh yes, Akira, Giselle. I'd like to ask you about yesterday's incident. Can I have some of your time after a meal? You want to interrogate us? If you must, I have nothing to hide. Just make it short. I'll try to keep it as brief as possible. See you after the meal. You know, it's quite nonchalant. You know, no, 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 we're, not, we're not gonna mention the guy that tried to kill us, by the way. You know, that's still like... Uh, walking around and probably is gonna kill someone else? No, we're not gonna worry about that, I guess. No worries. Not at all. I mean, it's still established that someone did kill the... Thomas, right? So kill Thomas. So, I don't know. I feel like this should be more of a tense situation than it is. But, uh, I enter the dining hall ahead of Akira and the others, but I don't see Neneko anywhere. I then notice Neneko standing by the bookshelf in the corner. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, Ikita, I just noticed a book was added to this bookshelf. It appears to be a picture book, but the book is strange. It's unpleasant. Someone added a book to it. Neneko hands me the book. It's a very thin picture book with only a few pages. If it hadn't been phonetical, why I would have never noticed this book. Hmm. More crude drawings. The devil and the children. The devil screams blood or flesh. Gulp down the blood. Spread out the internal organs. Satisfying many des desires. Hang the corpses. Hang the corpses of the children. Dedicate the corpses to the devil. Corpses to create even new corpses and even more corpses. The awakened demon burns a man to death in hellfire. Hmm. Very uh, similar to what happened uh, in the story so far. The tragedy has begun. Now kill the adults, driven insane, burn them to death, chop them up, uh, gauge their eyes out? I think they mean gouge their eyes out, and pull out their hearts. The devil desires death. The more struggling, the better. The children summon the devil. It won't stop until I've killed everyone. I shall kill and die. I only desire death. Death, horrendous death, eternal death. Yes, the nameless children have returned. Alright, just a little creepypasta, good. <laughs> These appear to be child's drawings, but the picture book is frightening. Burns a man to death in hellfire. There are some parallels with our current situation. It reads as if it's a confession of the killer. They likely did not expect it to be found at this point in time. We only happened to discover it because of your abilities. It's not what they expected. It's not what they expected, so when was this supposed to be found? After this is all over. I think it's meant to be found by the people who will come to clean up this mansion after we've all been killed. After we've all been killed? Why? For what? To let everyone know the meaning behind our murders. This is meant to show that they weren't accidents or recreational murders. <laughs> recreational murders? Just, just for fun, I guess? The nameless children have returned. Hmm. This phrase might mean something. I see Akira and Giselle coming towards us, so I quickly put the book back into the bookshelf. Oh, what are you doing here? Huh? I'm just looking for a good book to pass the time with. Pass the time? I don't think you have that much time to spend, Mr. Detective. <laughs> what annoying brat. Really, why is she always stuck up? I don't know, I, she doesn't seem annoying from the dialogue. I mean, there are definitely maybe some translation, um... Like quirks that have been lost from Japanese to English. I'm assuming that maybe sometimes when, for example, when we talk to uh, Neneko and when we talk to Akira, you know, maybe they're using different like honorifics or they're using like, they're, they're speaking in a very more casual tone maybe. And that's why we always say, oh, they're annoying or whatever, because they're more like, maybe they're acting more rude to us. Um, that's uh, like in the language. In Japanese that we wouldn't pick up in English, I guess. Maybe 
Maybe that's the idea. Anyway. Uh, what about which is not anyway, whatever. Anyway, we sit down at the table to have breakfast. Like, it doesn't sound too rude to me, like in English, but maybe it is Japanese, you know. She's, she's saying it in a very rude way that puts us down, that doesn't get translated, I guess, maybe, huh? Well, after the meal, I go into the hallway and call Giselle. Giselle, as I mentioned earlier, I would like to ask you a couple things. That would be acceptable. Where would you like to talk? Hmm. Not in the hall or the corridor, but somewhere away from prying eyes. I do not want to have Akira eavesdropping on Giselle's testimony and talking back. In that case, the communication room will do. It is soundproof, so our talk will remain confidential. Guesses don't usually go there, and it's likely not bugged. I understand. I'll see you there. Akira, please wait outside. Alright, alright. Hey, Nanako, could you come in here? You can be my human tape recorder. <laughs> You're just a human tape recorder. I'm not a tape recorder. But, alright, whatever. You know, she do very well, um... I mean, she do very well in a lot of occupations, actually. But the first thing I think of is, uh, maybe someone who records, uh, what is said during, like, a court of law, you know? Like, uh, like, uh, I forget what we call it, like, a, um, a typist, you know, that, like, records everything, uh, for, like, legal documents. Be fair, be very useful for that, but anyway. Uh, let's start then. This shouldn't take too much of your time. Alright, i talk to her now. This mysterious person, actually, that hangs around uh, Akira a whole bunch. I assume she's her, like, personal bodyguard or something. I don't know. Anyway, but what happened before and after the incident? First of all, could you tell me about what you did before and after Thomas burned to death? Please explain in detail without omitting, uh, omot uh, omitting? No, omitting anything. Alright. I went to the dining hall of the young lady before lunch started at noon. I recall that nothing unusual happened at that time. Hmm. After you arrive at the dining hall, as I'm asking that question, Neneko pokes my arm. You have to ask her about something. Giselle had gone back to get something, so she arrived at the dining hall later than Akira. Neneko whispers this to me and I remember it. Right, I almost forgot about that. Keep it to good work, tape recorder. As I can feel daggers shooting out of Neneko's eyes, I ask Giselle again. As I recall, you arrived at the hall later than Akira because you went back to get something, didn't you? What did you go back for? Ah, my apologies. I forgot about that. Just before I arrived at the hall with the young lady, I considered the fact that there would be an important announcement made, so I went back to retrieve my notebook. The young lady arrived first, and I came ten minutes later. A notebook, huh? Hmm. Didn't she mention something about, like, it was in a bag or something? Hmm. So everyone arrived in the hall in the following order. Thomas, Nanako, and I, Akira, Giselle. Please think carefully. When you went back to the hall with your notepad, did you notice anything strange about the corridor or the bridge? Hmm. No. Looking back, I don't recall there being anything strange about the corridor or the bridge. Were those iron doors open or were they closed? I remember that they were open when I was together with the young lady. When I returned to my room, the doors were also open on both sides. I see. The doors were still open when you returned. When we went to the dining hall for lunch, they were closed. Although Abby was supposed to keep them open and locked in place after that. In other words, if your testimony is correct, someone closed the doors after you went to the hall. There must have been a reason for closing the iron doors. Was whoever closed them also Thomas's killer? Hmm. After you went through the corridor, did you immediately go to the dining hall? Yes, I immediately went to the dining hall. I was there the entire time after that without leaving my seat. Or at the time, time that after that, or after... After, yeah, blah, blah, anyway, I don't know, I felt that I, re I read that weird. I was there the entire time after that without leaving my seat. I glance at Neneko. She hesitantly nods to me. Oops, again? Weird? Okay, because when I go to log and I scroll back, somehow when I press space, it goes to choosing some other option. Oh, anyway. Ahem. Yeah, she hesitantly nods to me. It appears that Giselle's testimony is true. Because sometimes I, I press space to, like, advance the dialogue, you know. Uh, thank you. Everything is clear. Could you tell me what happened when you discovered Thomas's body? When we left the hall, we walked through the corridor and arrived at the bridge. I remember that at that point, both doors, the one on the side of the mansion, and the one in the guest room wing, were closed. Hmm. So when you opened the door on the side of the guest room building, who discovered Thomas first? It was a young lady who felt that something was amiss 
and discovered Mr. Harrington. I was concentrating on turning the iron door wheel, so I saw him a moment later. Could you tell me how I could uh, react at the time? The young lady initially believed there was a fire due to the stench and the black smoke coming off the corridor. Shortly after, she discovered Mr. Harrington lying in the aisle, and she appeared to be very shaken. When I noticed there was something unusual in the corridor, I immediately understood the situation and kept the young lady away from the door. The young lady's face became pale, and I was afraid that she could faint at any moment. I remember Akira being very upset at the time. Even a strong-willed girl wouldn't be able to bear such a sight. Weren't you upset, uh, upset seeing the murder scene? I was focused on protecting the young lady, so I did not really pay attention to it. I am required to remain calm under any circumstances to assist the young lady, so I tried to control my emotions as much as possible. I see. Thank you. That was very helpful. It is different from Akira's recollection of events, but Giselle also has a very cool-headed character. Giselle appears to be able to remain cool in all circumstances. I can say she's an iron lady. You know, she probably hides... By the way, she probably hides knives, you know, under her shoes or something, you know? That's the feeling I get from her. She really is, like, a bodyguard. Maybe from a military background, you know? That's the, that's the vibe I'm getting from her, I don't know. In any case, I'm beginning to understand the, situ uh, the situation a little bit better. I'd like to ask you about Shiro Nagasa Island. Any trivial rumor you may have heard is fine, so please tell me if you know anything. Unfortunately, I do not know a lot about Shiro Nagasa Island. I only know that it's an island with first class facilities that can only be visited by certain people. Hmm, no, wait a minute. Akira appears to know some things, which means you should have heard some dark stories about the island from her as well, am I right? Hmm. Giselle remains silent. She obviously knows some things, but she's not talking. For full disclosure, I have heard some stories about the island from the young lady. However, that's all I can say about them. I am duty-bound to keep what I hear confidential. This is an important investigation into a murder case, isn't it? But you still won't tell me? If you want to hear about them, you should ask the young lady herself. However, I cannot guarantee that she will talk to you. Giselle is a hard nut to crack. I don't think I, we can convince her to tell us about the island's secrets. I think I've heard enough about the murder. I would like to know more about her background. This is only for reference. You're in the service of the Edgeware family. Am I correct? Yes, that is correct. To be precise, I am the personal attendant of Miss Akira Edgeworth. Tell me how you entered into the service of the Edgeware family. Apparently, due to the young lady's strong temper, the previous attendance did not last very long. I was originally an employee in the Edgeworth mansion, Unfortunately, the young lady took a liking to me and requested me to be her personal attendant. I see. It certainly must be difficult to be able to withstand Akira's temper for very long. We don't, I don't know, again, it's, again, maybe it's lost in translation, but I don't really, we don't really see her anger, you know, that much, but, uh, it, un, it is unusual to see her get on so well with her, but if I consider Giselle's indifferent attitude, the two of them might have compatible personalities. One more question. My apologies if I'm prying too much, you know, apologies if I'm being distinctly racist, but your skin color is quite exotic. What is your ancestry? No need to apologize. I'm from England, but my grandmother was from India, so I am quarter Indian. That's why my skin is slightly dark. Hmm, okay. I see, India. I learned that India was colonized by the United Kingdom and is also part of the Commonwealth. Alright, I think I've asked what I wanted to hear. There's one thing I'd like to try, though. Thank you very much. You've been a great help. That's all I want to ask. You can leave now. I wind up the conversation and tell Giselle to leave when, out of the blue, I say, Just one more thing. <laughs> you know, like, like Columbo. You know, Columbo actually is a show that I learned about uh, relatively recently. That's kind of like, also kind of like a detective show. Uh, I mean, kind of similar to this situation. And uh, I actually found it quite interesting, actually. Like, I don't usually watch, like, typical, you know, I, don't, I, I usually watch anime, right? Because it's such a weird, I don't watch, like, normal TV shows. But Columbo was quite interesting. It, it's pretty old, though, but I liked it. You know, I liked how, I like uh, I liked the, the old, like, uh, detect, detective stories, I guess. But anyway, I almost forgot. You know, someone told me that they saw you release the locking mechanisms of the iron doors. What? That I released the door mechanisms. They must be mistaken. 
I didn't even touch the doors. Hmm. I tried to make up a false testimony to see if she would become flustered. You know, typical cop strategy. Just lie, I guess. Judging from her reaction, Giselle's testimony certainly appears to be credible. I mean, it's true, you know. I've seen, like, the way uh, the de detectives, like, in um, like in the interrogation room, how, like, police kind of, like, get confessions from people. They do actually use that kind of strategy, actually, you know. They, like, uh, what do you call it? They, they bluff, basically. Anyway. Oh, uh, well, don't worry about it. The person who told me that wasn't quite sure about it. They probably misremembered it. Thank you for your cooperation. All right. Let me read that again, actually, because I'm, I'm missing something about yeah. Something told me released the doorless from the laundry rooms. But yeah, she she said she didn't she didn't do that. Well, anyway. Ah, oh, uh, that took less time than I expected. Again, I keep <laughs> when I go to log and I press space, it somehow goes to here somewhere. Anyway, uh, that's, uh, took less time than I expected. Uh, Giselle. What do you talk about in there? Tell me. That girl, she was trying to eavesdrop on us after all. Guess I made the right decision to use the soundproof communication room. Akira, I want to hear your own version of events. No talking to yourself before that. Come on in. I want to get started right away. Why you? I've decided I do not like you after all. Young lady, I'll be waiting outside. Please let me know if there's anything you need my help with. Yes, I'll be sure to scream loudly when he's about to assault me. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself, young lady. You know, cause we're like, I don't know, man. This was weird uh, assault jokes that this game likes to make. Anyway, hurry up and come inside. Is that like a joke? Is like like a thing you just casually joke about? I don't know. It's, uh, it's anime, whatever. If you don't mind, I like to sit down. Is that alright? Oh, of course. This chair is wobbly. Whatever, you may begin. Okay. Uh, I don't know, let's just save, just in case. Not that it matters, but... And now, it's funny how we're doing... I mean, we're having the uh, conversation in the communication room. The, the, the communication equipment is all broken and stuff. I don't know. It's, it's not very nice uh, decor, you know, for interrogation, but anyway. Uh, but what happened before and after? The uh, Thomas murder. You heard most of it from Giselle, didn't you? It's exactly like she said. That is all. Are we done here? It doesn't work like that. We have to give proper testimony. You left the guest room building together. Apparently, she left you for a short period of time. I want you to tell me about what happened during that time. Hmm. Bossy, aren't you? Fine. We met in front of my room and went to the dining hall together. Just before we entered the place, Giselle said she had left something behind. So I went inside by myself. That's all. The iron doors. Were they both closed? Mm, no. They were open as usual. I remember that the wind was blowing into the corridor and it was so cold. I think they were somehow locked into place? I see, so they were open. Do you remember what Giselle had forgotten? Um... If I recall correctly, she said she had forgotten her notebook. She told me there might be an important announcement from Sir Raymond, so she wanted to take notes. Okay, well I mean, I feel like there's some collusion going on here, so I don't know if this is true. That's my first instinct. Anyway... Hmm... Did you notice anything else unusual in the brazier or in the corridor? No matter how small, nothing in particular. Uh, come to think of it, the bridge was quite wet because of the rain. I almost slipped. I wish someone would do something about the drainage. Ah uh, yes, it was so wet that my trousers got soaked. The wind is so strong and it's cold. This place is dreadful. I wonder how much worse it gets in winter. Winter, huh? Yeah, so it probably could be even worse. You know, we, we had the same thoughts exactly. Could you tell me more about the moment you found Thomas? Are you really going to make me remember that horrible moment? We were the first to leave, so we raised the iron door and crossed the bridge. At that time, we didn't feel as if anything was off. But when Giselle opened the door to the guest room building, the corridor was filled with black smoke, and a foul stench came out of it. At first, I thought it was a fire, but when I looked closely, I saw there was a dead body. It was dreadful. I don't want to see anything, uh, something like that ever again. Yeah. Nedico's making the vomiting sounds behind my back. Blah. This is probably not easy for someone with a photographic memory like her. It's as if she can actually see the corpse again. I was standing there, stunned. Giselle then pulled me away from the door. And you guys showed up. I guess it happened like that. There's nothing strange about it, right? Hmm. It indeed meshes with Giselle's testimony. 
there don't appear to be any discrepancies. If only I was like a spiky haired lawyer with a, you know, blue suit. Maybe I can, you know, find some contradictions and then yell objection, but I guess we're not in that situation. Oh yes, did you leave your seat during lunch? No, I never left my seat. When Akira says that, Nedeko pokes me in the back. She's lying. Akira left her seat 18 minutes after the meal started. Hm. Did she now? So you're saying she's trying to hide something. Hey, what are you two whispering about? Hmm. She says that you left your seat for a short time. You left the dining hall once, didn't you? No, I did not leave the hall. Akira was definitely lying. When she came back, a handkerchief was sticking out from her vest pocket, so she probably went to the bathroom. Also, she was gone for seven minutes. Which means she probably did the number two. <laughs> she probably pooped. That's a little bit too much information, Nanako, but thanks anyway. Listen, Akira, if you don't tell me the whole truth, I'll only begin to question anything else you say. Tell me the truth. You left the dining hall, didn't you? More specifically, you went to the bathroom. Do you really believe what she said? I told you, I did not leave the dining hall. She remembers it wrong. Unfortunately, that's impossible. Hey, going to the bathroom is nothing to be ashamed about. Doesn't matter if it's for number one or number two. I think I just stepped on a slippery slope. Sure enough, Akira's face turns red as she scowls. Actually, she's glaring at Neneko. Neneko, are you trying to humiliate me by making things up? Why are you messing with me? You always hide your face underneath that crazy long hair. Why don't you just show your face? Let me be honest. Your, your hair length is about the same as hers, you know? Yours is just more... Uh, done up, I guess, with like a headband, a hair clip, I guess, but otherwise, it's about the same leg, really. <laughs> oh. Are you that insecure? Do you want me to, do you want to tell me something? Look me into my eyes and tell me what you have to say. Nedeko trembles and hides behind me as usual. You're hiding again. What are you going to do if there's no one you can hide behind? I apologize. Please don't be so angry. Nedeko didn't mean anything bad either, I think. Well... I don't well I don't want there to be any doubts, so I'll tell you the truth. I did leave the hall once. I went to fix my makeup. You don't even wear makeup. Or right, Nedico says that. You you don't even wear makeup. Just admit that you went there to have a crack. <laughs> I nudge persistent Nedico with my elbow in her stomach as she tries to murder something. Ow! Nedico uh, Nedico whimpers and I face Akira. Alright, it certainly is important to fix your makeup. So, did you notice anything strange in the hallway? Nothing out of the ordinary, I believe. I didn't see anyone outside. Hmm, so she hasn't given me anything to go on. And while she appears to be not good at telling lies, her testimony is consistent with Giselle's. Do you want to discuss anything else What that happened that time? Uh, or, yeah, oh, no, no, she, she said that. Do you want to discuss anything else that happened that time? No, it's fine. Your testimony was helpful. Thank you. Can you tell me about Shironagasu Island? About Shironagasu Island? Um, I don't know anything particularly unusual about it. You're lying. You gave me some advice on the ship. That I shouldn't go snooping around too much if I value my life. Akira, you know something about this island, don't you? You must have misinterpreted what I said. Even if I do know something, do you really think I would tell someone like you? One person has been killed, and the killer is still out there. There may be other victims. Are you alright with that? Everyone who came to this island is scum, so I don't care if they die. In fact, it would make me happy. You can be happy if everyone else is murdered, but if you or Giselle are killed. You should be on your guard as well. If an outsider learned the secret of this island, things would not end well for them, even more so for a detective. They will kill you. Not only you, but also that young lady hiding behind your back. I've already come too far to turn back now. And not pursuing the killer would go against my nature. I can't just run away. How foolish. Still, I'm not saying a word. Good grief, she's so stubborn. I wonder if we can find her Achilles heel and make her talk. Maybe he's literally her heel, you know? Just like, poke her heel. The servants probably think... You told me everything about the island during this interrogation. It doesn't matter if you speak or remain silent, you're still in danger. No. Staying silent is even more dangerous because then the killer will still be out there. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? It's too nasty to think about, talk about that. And I will allow them to escape my lips. You're out of luck, detective. I won't talk. No matter how endangered you make me feel. I thought Akira would be easy to talk to, but she's proving to be quite a challenge. What should I do? <sighs> then let's change the subject. Do you think that someone from the mansion killed Thomas, or was it someone else? It was someone from the mansion. I'm certain they wanted to silence him. Sir Raymond mentioned a traitor in his message. Perhaps he was the traitor. I'd like to know more about this betrayal. I know that you will refuse to tell me anything, though. I'll stop asking about the island, for now. Could you tell me about your background and how you ended up here? Would that be alright? I guess I can tell you about that. Akira snorts and starts to talk. My name is Akira Edgeworth. I'm the eldest daughter of the Edgeworth family, a Scottish noble family. The members of the Edgeworth family have been aristocrats for generations because we have done whatever is necessary to survive. We've made many memories. Memories? No. No. Because we have done whatever is necessary to survive, we have made many enemies. Okay. So you're, you're like, you're jerks, basically. You can say our family is much reviled. Hmm. You once told me that you were coming to this island instead of your father, right? Could you tell me about him? About that man? It pains me to talk about him. But fine, it doesn't matter either way. My father, George Edgeworth, is the worst of the worst. He clung to power, turned everyone into his enemies, and he was always alone. He is terminally ill and that serves him right. The invitation was sent to my father, but I intercepted it and came to this island instead. You appear to hate your father a lot, don't you? Don't be so spiteful towards him. He's still your father, you know. You know nothing. Don't talk to me like you do. I shiver when I think about the two of us being related. That's how much I despise him. Good grief. Well, there has to be a reason she hates her father that much. Alright. And I guess, uh, yeah, she, she didn't like... Uh, she didn't like become a representative um, at the request of her father. She actually, you know, uh, took the initiative, you know, and did it herself. So in a way, she's kind of similar to us, where she came to the island without, uh, without permission, I guess. But anyway. Still, why did you want to come to this island? A solitary island in the, in the ocean? There must be a reason why you wanted to come to a place like this. From what I understand, your father didn't ask you to be his representative. Why did you come to this island? Well, I wanted to verify something. Akira stops talking. It appears that the reason you came here is related to the secret of this island. Akira, I promise I won't tell anyone about this. It sounds as if it would help with the investigation. But, no, even then I... As Akira is stammering, I hear the door open. I assume that Giselle opened the door, but something is wrong. Because the door remains open for a moment and then it closes again quickly. I can hear the sound of a lock snapping into place. What? What is that? A snake? Oh no! Ah! It's literally a, it's all just practice, you know, just threw a snake in the room and locked the door. Uh, be quiet. Don't make any noise. Slowly climb onto the desk. Well, I mean, I'm assuming this is a venomous snake. No, snakes are venomous actually, or at least they don't have venom strong enough to like hurt a human, I guess. But I'm, I'm going. I mean, I'm gonna assume it is a venomous snake. Because why would they, you know, throw the snake inside here again? Unless it's like a just, just a prank, bro. You know. Eh. Someone opened the door and tossed it into the room. But shouldn't Giselle be outside? Did someone else throw a snake into the room? Anyway, I need to focus on dealing with the snake. I don't know if it's poisonous or not. I'm not an expert on snakes. I should ask Neneko. Hey, Neneko. Is the snake venomous, or is it harmless? What do you think? Uh, yeah, boo-boo! Phew! -boo. <laughs> Neneko seems to have lost it. She's doing her best to climb onto the desk. I don't think she'll be an answer to me right now. At any rate, the snake is huge. Is it? <laughs> well, the image of here looks looks very cute. Look, a tiny little snake. But I guess, uh, actually, in, you know, in, in reality, it's very big. Maybe like a python, you know? I don't know. It also looks angered, probably because it was thrown in here. It's ready to attack us any time. I hate snakes. I hate all reptiles. I just can't. Akira speaks timidly as she crouches on the wobbly chair. Hey, be quiet. Keep your voice down. You'll provoke the snake otherwise. 
doesn't matter if she's afraid of snakes or not. We need to know if this one is venomous or not. I could try to squash it by jumping on it, but that would mean taking quite a risk. From where I am, I can reach the door. Ugh, darn, the door is locked. It appears that whoever threw the snake in here locked the door as well. This lock is the same kind of lock as the one in my room. It doesn't open from the inside without a key. Looks like we'll be able to get out of here for a while. Again, what? Like a door, a door that locks from the outside? That's quite dangerous, but I guess, you know, not all that surprising in this murder mansion, you know? Well, did any of the guests bring the snake? Considering that such a creature can't survive in the wild on the island, this has to be a warning from the mansion's staff, or an attempt to obstruct my interrogations. It's coming my way! I can't keep my balance on this wobbly chair! Hmm. Um... Jump! Or go slowly. Which is more bad? which is better? I don't know, this sounds like the horrible idea. Let's let's pick it. Woo! Jump under this, Akira! Alright! Here goes nothing! Ah! Ouch! Akira jumps, <laughs> loses her footing, and crashes into the wall. Good. Still, she was somehow able to clamber onto the desk. Oh, okay. It worked it worked after all. Ouch! Why are you telling me to do such a strange thing, you scumbag? Hey, don't blame me. We all managed to get into the desk, but I think the snake will be able to get up here as well. I have to think of something quickly. You know, I'm, I'm curious. I don't know if it matters, because I do want to see, like, altern alternative situations. Kind of like the, you know, the, the part where we got shot. So I wonder if we actually can get her killed, or maybe that's not really a thing. Um... Weird. Oh, okay. I, I, I guess I'm saving it in a weird way. It goes like this way, not like this way. I, I, I'm, I'm doing it left and right, but I'm looking at the numbers. It's actually like down this way like that. I'm saving it wrong. Anyway, uh, let me load this one. What happens if, just, if she climbs slowly? I'm curious. All right. Slowly and carefully. Ah! Akira almost loses her balance because of the wobbly chair, but somehow managed to get on the desk. I thought it was a close one. I thought I was going to die. Okay, either way, it, it seems to be the same. Anyway. Uh, we all managed to get on the desk, but I think it's going to be quickly. Yeah, same thing. So, you know, just like a lot of visual novels, some choices don't really matter. It's kind of just railroad you to the same uh, outcome anyway. Ikara crawls over the communication equipment towards Nanako. Okay. They're hugging each other, probably out of fear. Nanako seems to finally regain her sanity. Hey, Nanako, do you know what kind of snake this is? Snake. Nope, she's still out of it. You know, how cute. They're bonding together over this, you know, uh, visceral, not visceral, what's the word? Primal, that's the word. Over this primal fear of uh, snake death. <laughs> yes, I know that's a snake, Nanako. I just want to know if it's poisonous or not. Its scientific name is Dentrosapis polypolypus. It was named in 1864 by zoologist Albert Gunther. Its primary habitat is the southeastern part of Africa. Nanako, are you out of your mind? I don't need to hear that kind of useless knowledge. I'm asking you if this snake is venomous or not. I'm scared. I'm gonna faint. Don't yell at me like that. Nanako, I need you to take a deep breath and calm down. We're running out of time. Is it venomous or not? Uh, this is a black mamba. It's a deadly poison that can shut down the nervous system. It's the most venomous snake in the world. Untreated, its bite has a fatality rate of 100%. See, now that's useful information on how screwed we are. A black mamba, huh? Actually, I've been bitten by a snake that looked like like uh, looked like this one before in Africa. But the one that bit me had blue skin. Black mambas can neither be brown or bluish. This one's the brown kind. But wait, have you been bitten by one before? Yes, luckily I was treated back then. However, being stuck in a closed room on an isolated island with such a deadly snake, that really sucks. <laughs> That really sucks. I love your stupid dad jokes. Oh, okay. That, that oh, I get it. I guess he was like, that really sucks. Like that, like a snake. Ah, oh, I didn't get it the first time. Anyway, don't you see how serious this is? What are we gonna do? How can we get help? Does this thing have any weaknesses? An antidote would be nice to have. Uh, we've only had one. I don't know about his weakness, but black members are very fast and, and good at climbing. See, I told you he's climbing up right now. Ah! Oh, no you don't. I take off my jacket and use it to push the snake down. I managed to make the snake fall onto the floor, but it looks like I also made it angrier. It looks like he's ready to fight. 
appears to be deciding who to attack first. Young lady, I heard you scream. Did something happen? Giselle, where have you been? Why are you in trouble here? My apologies. I left my post for a moment because Vincent called me. Is there a problem in there? Yes, a big... Yes, a big problem. Someone threw a venomous snake into the room. It's, I don't know. Vincent called you away? That's suspicious. But anyway, we're trying to get out of here, but the door is locked. The snake is right next to the door, so we can't try to break it open. Giselle, can you somehow open this door? It's locked. I will ask Vincent. You better watch your back around him. The manager staff may have thrown the snake in here. Vincent may have lured you away from there. Ah, uh, I understand. In that case, I will look for an axe or something like that to break the door open. Giselle, your only hope. We can't wait very long. What's with the crying voice? We'll be fine, as long as we don't do anything stupid. Hopefully, as you're, you're both crying, I guess. Whoa! It looks like the snake has its sights set on the girls. These are legs trying to climb onto the desk. You know, two for one. Two for one meal, as the snake eats both of them somehow, I guess. Well, actually, I don't think a snake can actually eat a human. I mean, as, as far as I know, I never see the snake eat a human, but the way a snake like usually eats things is like they s just swallow it, you know, whole. Basically, vor. But anyway. <laughs> I managed to not get back down each time, but if my time would be off by just a little, the snake might be able to reach them. Darn, I feel bad for the snake, but I have to find a way to kill it. <laughs> you know, we're just an animal lover, I guess. Uh, at heart, you know. You'll feel bad for the snake? Why do you feel bad? You shouldn't feel bad. If you don't kill it, we're gonna die, you stupid idiot. Alright, I get it. I need something to kill the snake with. Something like a sharp knife or even a long stick would work. I don't see anything like that. But can't you use that chair over there? It's too far away from me. And using a chair to hit a snake sounds pretty risky. I have an idea, Nanako. Can you check the drawers of this desk you're on? Perhaps there's something sharp like a knife in them. You're asking me to look inside the drawers while I'm in this perilous situation? I'll definitely look my lose my balance and fall down. Jeez, ah, I'll do it then. Akira lowers herself, reaches down her hand, and searches the drawers. Whoops. The snake strikes and Akira quickly pulls her hand back. Here we go. I risked my life to get this for you, now do something with it! A utility knife, eh? A box cutter. <laughs> Just barely more effective than using my fists. Still, better than nothing, I guess. I'll try to put it to good use. Fortunately, it looks sharp enough. I'm afraid that the blade will break, but if I handle it well, I might be able to slice through the snake with it. I hold the utility knife in a way that won't break easily. Alright. I'll have to time this carefully. I'll taunt the snake in my jacket. The moment it bites the jacket, I'll attack it with a knife. Uh, Ikeda, don't wait too long. I can't feel my legs anymore. I'm about to fall. Hey, Nanika, oh. Don't shake like that. The dust might top all over. Whoa. Hey. Eh. <laughs> well, Nanika and Ikeda are shaking so much they're about to lose their balance. The snake sees what's happening and quickly moves towards Akira. He opens his mouth, bends his body, and leaps in the air. Arr! I swing the utility knife at the fly snake. And I just slice it in half. Wow. That's a clean cut. That's literally a samurai, you know? We're so good. The knife slices through the snake, its blood splattering all over the room. You did it! You cut it in half! Well, danger over, I guess. Geesh. For a second, I thought this was the end. It appears you somehow managed to kill it, though. Oh. Well, wait, don't get, it off, don't get off the desk yet! Huh? As Ikura, uh, Akira gets off the desk, the snake lunges at her, even though I cut it in half. I try to grab it, but it's too late. The snake's fangs sink into Akira's ankle. Uh-oh. Let's save this real quick. Not because I saw something on the Steam store page that might foreshadow what's going to happen right now. Uh, did it bite me? It bit me! Somehow. That's crazy. It's like a zombie snake. No! I grab the snake's head that's still clinging to Akira's ankle and pull it off her. I throw it into the corner and it slowly stops moving. I've been bitten! I've been bitten! I've been bitten! How could I have known that it could still move? Akira, calm down. Try not to move. Sit on this chair. Hold still. Keep your foot lower than your heart. If I'm bitten, I'll die, won't I? What's even the point? It's no use. I'm going to die. Well. Akira screams and drops down onto the floor. Hey, I told you not to lie down. I'm going to die anyway. I'll do what I want. You know, I want, I want to lie down. This is my final wish. Don't be stupid, just give up like that. I'll find a way to save you. If there's such a venomous snake in the mansion, there has to be an antidote somewhere. Hey, what do you think this it is? Even if there is an antidote, you'll never find it. Akira releases her gaze and begins to mutter to herself. 
I move Akira to an upright position. Hmm. Neneko, is there anything else we can do when a venomous b a snake bites someone? Uh, well, uh, remove anything tight. Rings, watches, shoes, because they'll become difficult to remove when the bite swells. You're right, totally forgot about that. I take off Akira's shoe and tear her stockings that cover the bite mark. Again, I, I got the right game, right? It's not like a weird fetish game. Anyway, I mean, you know, you're supposed to do it, but... Look, anyway, there's definitely a snake bite in her ankle. Oh, what a mess. I found an axe. Stand clear of the door, I'm gonna break it open. We hear Giselle's voice coming from the outside. As soon as Giselle breaks the door open, she and Rio rush into the room. Young lady, what happened to you? Ah, perfect timing, Giselle. Can you think of something appropriate to engrave on my tombstone? <laughs> what? Oh, no, 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 that's uh, Akira say. I thought that was like, for some reason, I thought that was uh, um, uh, like, uh, I already forgot his name. Uh, I thought it was Ik Ikeda saying that. Ikeda? Like he was saying, hey, perfect timing, Lana, time to bury the corpse. No, it was Akira saying that. Uh, perfect timing, Giselle. Can you think of something appropriate to engrave on my tombstone? Something like, here lies Akira Edgeworth killed by a dead snake. <laughs> Akira still manages to joke around. Here, Giselle appears to have understood the gravity of the situation and gives me a quick glance. Giselle, I'm grasping at straws here, but could you find someone from that mansion and ask them if they know of an antidote? This might be dangerous, but could you do it? I will. This happened because I abandoned my position at the door. I will look for someone to find the antidote. I'm sure you'll be fine, young lady. Giselle quickly leaves the room. Uh, Giselle, Giselle just told me, did Akira really get bitten by a venomous snake? I'm glad you're here, Riel. Can I ask you to help me now as well? I tell her what just happened. Oh, what a dangerous situation. We have to get an antidote. A black mamba venom can seriously affect the nervous system. The toxins of a black mamba are mainly dendrotoxin and fasciculin. Dendrotoxin inhibits the potassium channels of neurons, while fasciculin inhibits the acetylcholesterol. I can't say the word. Acetylcholesterol, eliciting muscle fasciculations. Fasciculations. Uh, what she said. Neneko, you know a lot about this, don't you? Even more than I do. Riel, how much time do you think we have? It depends on the amount of venom injected by that black mamba, but it's usually around 20 minutes. Several minutes have already passed since she was bitten. If we take the time needed for preparation of the injection and the antidote into account, we may have 10 minutes at most. 10 minutes? And we're looking for an antidote we don't even know it really exists. To be honest, it sounds impossible. Remaining time, eh? Uh, excuse me, but I can hear you. Or, uh, that's Akira again. I don't know why I keep reading the wrong, wrong voice. Excuse me, but I can hear you. I'm just dying here, but I'm not deaf. Could you please keep it down? I really don't need to hear that. It's impossible. Oops, sorry about that. You must have misunderstood. Uh, we were just talking about something else. You know, some other poison. As, like, the time is ticking away, by the way. Don't worry, Akira. We'll find the antidote soon enough. Easy peasy. Easy peasy? Easy peasy. It's hopeless. I'm going to die. Akira seems desperate, but no wonder. Anyway, there's no time to slack off. I have to find that antidote, or maybe look for a different treatment. We may have to. Real Neneko, is there any other way to treat the bite of a black mamba? Because she's already been bitten by it, using an antidote would be the best way to treat her. I wish I brought my snake bite kit with me, <laughs> you know, just in general. Just That's why you should have brought it. You never know. I never expected there'd be a venomous, uh, venomous snakes on this isolated island, though. And this is not very effective, but you could suck out her blood. From a doctor's point of view, I can't really recommend that method. Whoever sucks the blood out may also be poisoned. If you use tannic acid, which has the function of con 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 coagulated protein, you could neutralize the venom. Tannic acid, huh? What contains a lot of tannic acid? Um, I don't know. I actually don't know in real life. Uh, sour persimmons. Sour persimmons. Um, well, it's true that sour persimmons contain tannic acid, but where can we get some? I don't think any persimmons grow on this island. I agree. Shall we I order some from Japan? She'll probably be six feet under by the time they arrive here. Enough already. How can you tra crack jokes at a time like this? Well, you know, it's called gallows humor. <laughs> it's to keep calm. Anyway, I can't believe I'm going to die surrounded by such horrible people. Oh, it's me. At any rate, we need to find an antidote as soon as possible. Right, the antidote. We have to find it as quickly as possible. Where would it likely be? Not an easy question to answer. Hmm. Uh, 
you know, maybe maybe it's like a video game thing where they keep the antidote next to the snake. So maybe it's uh, maybe it's right here. Uh, there's no point in running around aimlessly. We need to come up with a proper plan before I go anywhere. It's good to have a plan, but I can't think of any other place where an antidote could be. Now let's just think logically. If I were to keep a venomous snake on this island, I would mostly have an antidote somewhere close to where I kept it. That makes sense. If the snake was kept as a pet, there would most likely be an antidote inside Sir Raymond's living quarters. There's a good chance we can find an antidote in Sir Raymond's living quarters. But how can we get in there? Well, if we don't hurry up and do something, after I will die. Let's see if this leads to anything. You're right. We have to act quickly. Hmm. Or... Can we stay here again? It's better than staying here and doing nothing if you have any other ideas. It doesn't remember looking something. What if there's a way to treat your snake without using an antidote? I think that using antidote is the only way to neutralize the venom. No, I could swear there's another way. Oh, never mind. Anyway, we better act quickly. Not too much of a bo- uh, Not too much of a bother. Could you make it snappy? I don't like expecting much from you anyway. What did you say, mother? I have to go to the light? <laughs> okay. Hey, don't give up yet. We won't let you die here. Uh, nah, you know, I think we have plenty of time, really. Hmm. Uh, why don't we go, you know, why, why don't we go to the dining hall real quick for a quick snack? Uh, let's head to the dining hall. Perhaps Jacob is still there. He knows about this mansion. He, we might get something from him. Yeah, he does seem to know a lot about this mansion. You know, the time is ticking away. I knew you'd be here. What is it? You look distressed. Did something happen? Actually, Akira was bitten by a venomous snake. She won't make it unless we find an antidote. Jacob, would you happen to know where they might keep one? A, ven a venomous snake? Don't be silly. Why would there be a snake on this island? Don't tell me you're drunk as well. The strong smell of alcohol wafts into my nostrils. Looks like he's drunk again. Hopefully I get some information out of him. Unfortunately, it's true. It appears that someone from the mansion threw a venomous snake into the room to threaten us. Someone from the mansion. Hmm, there must be a, that must be because you're sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. They must be afraid that the mansion's secret will be exposed. This is why I told you not to slip around so much. You can lecture me later. Anyway, about the snake. It's a black mamba. Did you happen to know anything about it? Hey, do I look like I know anything about snakes? No, wait, come to think of it, Sir Raymond and I once spoke about snakes. The name sounds familiar, but... Are you sure? Do you have anything uh, where I could find an antidote? An antidote? Hmm, I can't think straight at all. I may remember something if I drink a bit more. If you drink a bit more? Hey now, that's no good, not a good time for jokes. Scientifically, he is correct. When you drink alcohol, you have a higher chance of remembering something. When wine sinks, words float. Is that true? Hmm. I think he just wants to mess with us. Do you really think we should give him some wine to get some information from him? Well, you can come back if you want to talk to me. Maybe I'll have a moment of clarity. And don't forget to bring me some good wine next time you come. I'll think about it. Okay. Did you get the antidote? Hmm. Why do you smell of alcohol? Have you been drinking? Don't be silly. You're a mistake. You just took a quick drink break. That's all. This is unacceptable. Good grief. Did Jacob smell alcohol rub off on me? What am I supposed to do now? Go back to the dining hall real quick. Okay, fine. Let's go to the... Uh, let me just take a quick uh, drink real quick. I'm just water real quick. Da -da 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 -da. You know, I'm just a little thirsty. You know? <clears throat> All right. Let's go to like Sermon's living quarters. Or so Raymond's living quarters real quick. There might be an antidote there. I'll get things ready so the antidote can be ejected as soon as you can find it. Thanks, Rio. I'll leave that to you then. Darn. What? What's wrong? The elevator doesn't come down when I press the button. Someone from the mansion probably did this as well. Seems like it. However, there must be a staircase somewhere where we can use to get to Sir Raymond's living quarters. Since the elevator isn't working, the stairs are probably blocked as well. Right. Why are they trying so hard to prevent us from reaching Sir Raymond's living quarters? Does that mean there's an antidote there? I don't know. If I wanted to make sure something wasn't found, I'd hide it somewhere unusual. Or have someone carry it around with them. Throwing that snake into the communication room is quite dangerous. Whoever did that might have had an antidote on them. The million dollar question is who threw the snake in there? Darn, let's go back to communication room and think about it some more. Did you find the antidote? Um, you didn't find it. This is hopeless. Darn, what should I do? <laughs> you know? Uh, let's just like that. Neneko, can a venomous snake bite can only, only be cured with an antidote? Depending on the type of venom, it's possible to relieve the symptoms of appropriate treatment or medication. 
Scorpio, however, because we're dealing with venom of a black mamma using an antidote is the only way. Then we have to find the antidote, but we don't even know where it could be. This is bad, I feel like we're just going around in circles. If we don't hurry up, time will run out. Where could the antidote be? What if it's somewhere we haven't thought of? An unexpected place that we all overlooked. Hmm. Uh, we can go talk to Jacob again. You know, we have no choice. You should get some wine and take it with you. Right. Can't believe I'm doing this. What do you need wine for? Are you gonna have a party? No, it's not like that. With this, we can... Oh, never mind. Actually, I wouldn't mind sip myself. You know, might as well. <laughs> Last drink. Bring me some wine. Hey, you should take better care of yourself. Drinking is bad for your body. Don't you know that? It doesn't matter if it's bad for my body or not. So I'm gonna die anyway, apparently. I remember an anecdote from Japan. Mitsunori Ishida was offered a dry person before his execution and- Eh! Ah! <laughs> I grabbed Nanako as she started to mutter herself again. And I leave the communication room. Uh, what kind of wine are you gonna get? I am pretty sure he has his own likes and dislikes. Well, he's already drunk as a skunk anyway. I'll just pick whatever bottle I see first. I randomly pick a bottle of wine quickly leave the wine cellar. I've been waiting for you. You brought me some wine, didn't you? I did, but I just picked one randomly. Hope this one's alright. Jacob glances at the wine I brought and just snorts. Yeah, whatever. As for the antidote, I tried to recall that conversation. I did hear that Sir Raymond owned the venomous snake. A snake that could kill a human being with a single bite. Yes, I knew that already. As I told you, Akira was bitten by it and now slowly died, by the way. You know, I'm gonna worry about it, I guess. I just wanna know where I can find an antidote. Uh, Ikeda. I think you should forget about trying to save Akira. If someone from the match really did this, then they've already disposed of the antidote. They would also immediately kill you the moment you asked them for it. What do you think they would say? Yes sir, the antidote's right here. Of course I knew that, I know that, but I still have to look for it. Her life is at stake, don't you see? The remaining time meter is like slowly ticking away. Hey, it's not like you know her that well. She's just a stranger to you. I don't know why you're so upset. Are you trying to be her knight in shining armor? Jacob, you. Hey, don't be angry at me. It's her fault this happened in the first place. If Akira dies, it's on you. She's not dead yet, there's still hope. There's something else, my friend. In any case, good luck trying to save her, but it'll take a miracle. I'll be here if you need me. If you swing by if you want to talk or drink some wine. <laughs> hmm. Well. Hmm. Hmm. Say something. I'm gonna cry. Uh, don't lose hope, Akira. Every lot of the time gets all much sooner than I was expecting. Or hearing that all the time gets all much sooner than I was expecting. I'd rather be dead than hear that one more time. If you have so much time in your hands, then go do something. You're right. Uh, nope. Too late. Oh no, I'm out of time. Blah. <laughs> well, oh no. Akira's foaming from her mouth and dies shortly after that. She isn't breathing and there's no pulse. It's not possible to resuscitate her anymore. Darn. I'm sure I, she could have been saved if I tried harder. How could this happen? I must have done something wrong. I'm sure there was a way. Blue. Huh? What was that just now? Whoa, why am I so dizzy? Was I hallucinating? Why are you just standing there? I'm dying! You could tell you're right, what's going on? Uh, I explained the situation in real. Okay, I got an antidote, okay. And then restart. It's just like the, okay, I just wanted to see what happens if you die. We just restart, you know, automatically. It's interesting. Alright, so same thing. This time, we have the power of skipping really fast. Now, I was thinking though, Sour persimmons, we can't get. Tea, I don't know if we're gonna get. But there was wine, right? There was wine in the wine cellar. And that apparently contains tannic acid, maybe. So, well, let's see. Wine. Yes, we should be able to get some wine quickly. There's a wine There's a wine cellar nearby. We should be able to get a lot of wine there. Rio, could you bring me a wine with lots of tannins in it? Neneko should know a thing about or two about wine. All right. All right, I guess. We're gonna get some wine. Just hold on, Akira. Things appear to be turning around. Is that why I feel like I'm spinning in circles? Don't worry, I'm gonna save your life. This may be hard to believe, but luck is always on my side. You can trust me. Wait, didn't that guy burn to death earlier? Your luck stinks. Well, good luck for one is bad luck for the other. I think I just felt my odds of survival drop down to single digits. We're back, here's the wine. That was quick. The wine is... I first look for wines made with Carabinet Savagon, Savanon, Savanon, which contains a lot of tiny acid. I didn't see any, so I got this Romani Con tea instead. This wine has matured for a long time, so it has to contain a lot of tiny acid. This single bottle of wine costs more than $10,000. Is she worth $10,000? Ah, but screw it. Now is not the time to be fussy about prices. 
Uh, oops, I forgot to bring a wine opener. Uh, no problem. I'll check this out, Nanako. This is how you open a wine bottle, San Ikeda style. <laughs> okay, you just break it. Whoa, you did that just to, to you just did that to a super valuable a bottle of Romani Conti. Now that's open, I take some of the wine to my mouth. I immediately suck some blood out of Akira's ankle, rinse my mouth with the wine, and spit it out. Ugh. Are you okay? I think that I was able to suck some of the venom out. Ugh. I, I hate to say this, but thank you. That's surprisingly honest hearing Akira say that. She might actually be a good kid after all. There's still some wine left, so I'll pour it into onto the bike. Ouch. We, st we still need to find an antidote. Right, the antidote. We should fight as quickly as possible. Where would it be? Not an easy question to answer. Okay, that just bought us some time, but um, it's still going. All right. All right, I'm just going to go through the dialogue we already know. Hmm. Those quarters. I mean, again, the power is skipping dialogue, so <laughs> much faster this time instead of reading everything out loud, I guess. We find it. Go dying hall. Okay. Same thing. I wonder if this is different. Uh, yeah, ran and picked a bottle. Okay, the same thing. And then he basically says, yeah, I just give up on her or whatever. Okay. Uh, well, how about. Um, let's, hmm. Can uh, depending on what I find, this is the only way. Usually, I know it's the only way. Hmm. Something important. I have no idea. What is it? Uh, my body is becoming numb. That's it, I remember. I know how we can get an antidote. What are you talking about? We're really running out of time. The antidote, where could it be? Mother. If what I'm thinking is correct, there's not much time left. If what I'm thinking is correct. Hmm. Let's try to get to Sir Raymond's living quarters again. We'll use the stairs this time. I wonder if the stairs are accessible. What are you doing? You keep screwing about. Don't tell me you're playing something strange again. Hey, when when was I ever up to no good? I'm not doing anything bad, but desperate times come for desperate measures. Akka has been bit by a poisonous snake. She won't make it if I don't find an antidote quickly. What? A poisonous snake? Are you kidding me? On this cold, isolated island? I wish I was kidding, but unfortunately I'm not. Would you happen to know where I can find an antidote? An antidote? No, I have no idea, but... Wait a minute, are you really telling me the truth? If you think I'm lying, just go to the communication room and see for yourself. Everyone's running around right now. If you go, try not to upset Akira. No, I believe you. But where could the antidote be? To be honest, I'm not sure either. I was thinking about going to Sir Raymond's living quarters, but because I thought they were suspicious, but the elevator appears to be out of order. Elevator? Come to think of it, the emergency exit was also locked, which I thought was strange. Anyway, I'll go look for an antidote as well. After he says that, Alex runs away. I'm not expecting much from him, but any help is better than nothing. But wait, why did uh, Alex know the emergency exit was locked? Did he try to sneak through the emergency exit? If that's the case, then Alex is a bit shady as well. That guy is definitely up to something, but we have bigger fish to fry right now. We have to find the antidote quickly. But it doesn't appear to be possible to sneak into Sir Raymond's living quarters. What should we do? Should we go back? Alright. Hmm. Didn't expect much from you anyway. Well, hang in there. We'll find the antidote in no time. We keep talking about an antidote, but there might not even be one. I really don't want to think about that possibility. I don't like it, but go back to Jacob? Isn't that nasty guy? That'd be a waste of time if you ask me. We may have a, we don't have a clue where the antidote is, but he may be our only hope, like it or not. I just want to go there. Okay. And it's funny how like we're going, going through so much dialogue, you know, it's like, still haven't found the antidote, and the, the timer is just ticking away, by the way. Uh, what? You really came back? You just want Akira to die, don't you? Jacob, you really don't know where the antidote is? Please tell me, pretty please? You're very persistent. I already told you, I don't know. I don't even know if this is an antidote or not. Is there no other way to cure her? I don't know where she was bitten, but can't you just amputate that body part? Don't be silly. Using an antidote is the only way we can save her. I see. What if you overlook something? Are you done yet? Let's not talk about such trivial things. Why don't we have a drink together? Could it be? Have I really overlooked something? There's always more than just one way to solve a problem, that's what I'm sure of. But it really was another way. I can't feel my legs. Hey, do something, please. Hmm. It appears I'm at a dead end. There has to be a way. Something I've overlooked. Uh, I don't know. Can I click on something else or something? Or I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Not much time left. Hmm. 
I guess I should go to Sir Arabia's living quarters after all. Well, it seems to be the most plausible place. Let's try again. Perhaps Elvira's working now. No, <laughs> no, Elvira's working around, no? Looks like it's not working. Did they turn off the electricity? Darn, there's not much time left. You keep going back and forth. Are you really doing something? Or are you practicing your salaming? 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 I was going to make a joke, but then decided not to not to when I saw Akira's expression. She probably wouldn't like my joke anyway, especially in a situation like this. To be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing. What an impasse. What am I supposed to do? You know, when I click on this, it seems to apply that uh, Ikeda did actually figure it out, but I didn't as the player. Me, the player, did not figure it out. Am I supposed to click on something specific? Or what? This chair... Hmm... I'm not entirely sure, actually. I'm at an impasse. There's no point coming to Jacob. Then why are you going there? I have no idea. We're out of options anyway. My life is flashing before my eyes. Please don't give me false hope. Please! Hmm... You've got to be kidding me. I thought you were running out of time. Are you some kind of crazy person? <laughs> are you coming to Jeremy and tell me about Akira's death? Not like I have a choice. Do you know where Sir Raymond kept his snake? Was in his living quarters? Who knows? I've already forgotten about that. But I don't think I'd keep such a dangerous creature in my room. I keep it somewhere else, in a secure location. He's right. It might have been kept somewhere else. But where would he keep a venomous snake? Ag Ikeda, drink with me. You might calm down a bit and come up with a good idea. Come to think of it, I heard about scientists using brandy to remember the past better. You should let Akira drink some as well. I'd rather not. Where would the snake be kept if not in Sir Raymond's living quarters? Uh, please save me. Sorry, I'm gonna try my utmost best. I don't care what you're gonna do, how you're gonna do it, I don't care about the result. Let's go outside again. Alex may have found something. I don't think you expect too much from him. No. Uh, now I know how you feel. It feels better than doing nothing. I'm, I'm running out, I'm trying to read it faster now, but. Oh, hello. I've searched here and there, but didn't find anything. Is there any, really any antidote anywhere? There has to be. By the way, have you seen any people from the Ashen Dining Hall? Uh, no, now that you mentioned it, I haven't seen any staff around. It's only a guess, but it's possible that someone from the is, is responsible for this. I believe they didn't want Akira to give testimony. I see, so that's why. Does that mean we can't ask anyone from the for help? Exactly, we have no choice but to find antidote ourselves. Is finding antidote our only option? Can we do anything else? According to someone who knows about these things, treatment with an antidote is the only option. I see. How terrible. If only one of us had an antidote on us. That's very unlikely, right? One of us? What's the matter? Oh uh, no. Hang on, what if I'm overlooking something important? What if one of us does have an antidote on them? Anyway, I'll do what I can. I don't like sitting around doing nothing. Thanks, Alex. Well, what's the matter? The antidote. Perhaps we're getting a step closer. Huh? My body's starting to feel numb. My foot still hurts. I'm not gonna make it. No, there's still a way to save you. I'm sure we're getting close. I know how we can get an antidote. Huh? But you've been here all this time. Where is it then? I've overlooked the most important point. Nenico, do you know how antidotes are made? Well, antidotes are produced by injecting a sublethal dose of poison into a horse or another animal. An antidote can be made by separating the ant antibodies from the blood. We don't have time to do all of that. I know, I'm not that stupid. Nenko, remember what I said earlier? That a black mamba has bitten me in the past. Huh? Are you saying that? But I don't think antibodies can be made if you've only been bitten once. I've been bitten three times. What? I was bitten by black mambas three times in the Africa African jungle. Also, I didn't receive any antibody treatments. How can you still be alive? Are you some kind of monster? Yes. Yes, we're a monster. But also, if that's the case, then, or, or yes, real is saying that. Yes, if that's the case, then Ikeda might have black mamba antibodies inside of him. I see. The practice of misdreadism, uh, or whatever, is used by blood. I have no time to learn how to pronounce this. Uh, someone has been blinned by a state can be saved by transfusing blood containing venom neutralizing antibodies. Well, the question is if our blood is compatible, but anyway, this might actually work. I'll get everything ready. Just hold on, Akira. Before I forget, what's your blood type, Akira? She checks, uh, she checks her blood types, quickly wraps her tourniquet around my arm and collects my blood. Yeah, your blood types need to be compatible. You know, I don't know my blood type. Anyway, <laughs> your blood types are compatible. I'm sure it's gonna be okay. All right. Well, what a coincidence. What a like, what a strange coincidence. This is all like aligned together. I'm glad to hear that. Looks like you've been saved by Harris Breath Acura. Thank you. Okay, there you go. We did it. <laughs> it's funny how we just run around in so many ways, so much dialogue to go through as the time ticks away, especially because I read everything aloud, you know, it takes even longer. But anyway, I think we saved her <laughs> after all that.
Ew, that was a very close call. The blood transfusion was a success and Akira appears to be out of danger. Akira, how are you feeling? My leg still hurts, but it's no longer numb. It looks like, uh, it looks like Ikeda's blood was the perfect antidote. Is that Akira, Ikeda? At least Ikeda. Ikeda. I'm so happy. As much as I want to complain, but I won't. Thank you for saving my life. To be honest, I'm kind of used to being chastised. Anyway, I'm happy you're feeling better. Young lady, you're healed. Giselle, you're back. Did you manage to find any of the magic staff? I'm sorry, I could not find anyone. I see, how strange. Anyway, I'm just glad that this is over. Ouch. You should lie down a little bit- uh, You should lie down a little bit longer. I have always been a quick healer, don't worry about me. Could you all leave me for a moment? Everyone except for Ikeda and Neneko. Well, young lady. It's okay, Giselle. Just wait outside with everyone else. As you wish, young lady. After everyone has left, Akira sighs deeply and leaves against the wall. Alright. You know, so after saving her life, by the way, maybe she could tell us a little bit about the secret of the island. You know, it was all, it was all just a, a ploy, really, to get her to fess up, you know. The, the, the person who threw the snake in the room was actually a, uh, a uh, accomplice to, you know, to the very strategic interrogation technique, you see. This is how the police do it. They, like, get a snake to, like, bite. Anyway. All right. 